All right, Pisces, happy Monday. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. So let's get five cards, see what the energy is surrounding my Piscean collective. Today is July 10th, 2023. All right, let's see what messages we have for the Pisces. Five cards, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading spirit. You already know how I roll. Please allow me to see what I need to see to give Pisces the messages that they need to hear. All right. Yo. Throne, position of authority. I swear, this has been coming out for like the last, I don't know, two weeks or so. So, but it's your first card. The last few times I did it, I feel like it was your last card that came out. So you have older man dealings or relationship with an older man. What else for Pisces? Some of you guys could be dealing with the older man who maybe I'm getting like emperor vibes all right someone who could be in a position of authority or somewhat of status or some of you guys are holding a position of authority or sitting on your throne dealing with an older masculine energy okay what else master splinter <laughs> i don't know why but but this older man i always get like master splinter vibes if you look at his eyebrows and his goatee you think about Master Splinter, someone who's wise. You got the month of November. It could be a Scorpio. I'm also getting Virgo with Hermit energy. Um, let's see. Maybe a Sag. Okay. What else for Pisces? You got another month. All right. We've got July. So either this is symbolizing this month or something could be happening. Oh, spiritual love just fell out. So maybe this is a love connection for some of you. Okay, what else? This could be a Cancer or a Leo. And the scales, keep your life in balance. All right, so I pulled an extra card for you guys since you had two months coming out here. Scales, Libra energy. Got a lot of signs. Let's get one more since we have November and July. What else for Pisces? The bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. And the finger, warning you of a problem. All right, warning you of a problem either now or in the future. And then the candle, you will be shown the way. So, um, let's see. All right, let's break this down, see what's going on here. Position of authority. Why is this showing up in Pisces reading? Wait, no. Let's drop like a whole stack on the floor. Georgia. Someone could live in Georgia. Be from Georgia. Someone's name could be Georgia. Georgia. Alright. Position of authority. Why is this here for Pisces?
Seven of Cups. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands. Hmm. Be careful someone's not coming towards you, Pisces, because maybe you are, you know, sitting on your throne. You hold some type of position of authority. You could be someone of status, high ranking, whether it's spiritual and the physical. Okay. But the Seven of Cups can talk about either having a lot of options or it can talk about some type of an illusion. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, this could talk about, you know, someone with a bad reputation coming in very quick in night energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay, coming in a little bit forceful or coming in to see some type of an opportunity, but coming in very passionate, impulsive, quick, quick, really, okay. Throne. Be careful with overspending as well. Um... Tell me more about this throne because I'm getting like a lot of messages that I don't normally get like someone. Okay. So someone here could also be trying to cast some type of an illusion. I don't know if this is someone in a position of authority or some someone's doing this to somebody in a position of authority um, to cause someone to feel lazy or, you know, Tell me more about this throne. Ten of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So someone here is feeling extremely burdened, stressed out, carrying a lot of a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities. Maybe someone's feeling taken for granted. Granted, feeling taken. How do I say it? Feeling taken for granted? No way. Okay, this could be someone who's very attractive, energetic, fun, fiery, feisty, bold, attractive. Did I already say that? Probably. Show me this Queen of Wands. What's she doing up in this joint? Ten of Pentacles. So whoever this Queen of Wands is. Could be someone with fire in their chart pisces this is your reading this could be you or this could be someone else but with the ten of pentacles this this is someone in a position of authority okay whether this is a family dynamic a home a business a legacy or someone who's getting some type of financial unexpected windfall or has some type of you know privilege here whether it be through inheritance trusts you know whatever or they've worked very hard for it but with the eight of pentacles in the reverse Hmm. The Queen of Wands is someone who stands in their power. In the upright, anyway. Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? I'm going to know. I want to know the Knight of Swords again. Oh, why? I feel like this is... Okay, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Show me the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. The Seven of Pentacles. Hold on. Really? Show me the Ten of Wands. The Tower. Yo, Scorpio energy. Is someone trying to speak... Like, I feel like someone's trying to speak something into existence. Like I said before, someone's like casting some type of an illusion with their words, with their mouth.
it's like someone's waiting on someone's downfall. Someone's trying to, oh, you stupid son of a monkey. All right. No weapon formed against me shall prosper or my subscribers. No weapon formed against my subscribers or their family or their loved ones or mine shall prosper. Okay, return to sender, spirit, God, angels. Thank you. Amen. I don't like this energy. Show me this dealing or relationship with the older man. What is up with him? Ace of Swords. Hangman, Ten of Cups. Damn. Okay. So this older man could be... I heard Aquarius. Um, new ideas, new plans. All right. So this masculine may be coming up with some type of an idea or a plan or cutting people, places, things out that no longer serve them or this is someone who's coming in with some type of truth <sighs> coming towards you Pisces with the hangman being here okay this is someone who's gained some type of clarity after a period of stagnancy about a family or wish like emotional fulfillment There goes that star in the Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. The Sun, Leo, and the Four of Cups. Someone here feels like they've missed an opportunity. The Sun card in the reverse, you know, is oppression. Could be depression as well. This talks about sadness. The star card can talk about wish fulfillment. Aquarius, Leo, Pisces energy here. Hope, inspiration, creativity. Okay, so somebody may be wanting to heal something, but the, with the Seven of Swords showing itself, why is the Seven of Swords showing itself, Spirit? This could be a spiritual love connection with the Lily showing up, the Page of Cups. Give me one more on the Seven of Swords, please. Someone could have lied about a child or a pregnancy. Five of Swords, the devil. Fudge me. All right. Okay. Mm. I can see this two different ways, Pisces. So this is either someone who feels... Like they're coming in with the honest truth. After gaining some type of enlightenment here, they're feeling sad, regretful, like they missed an opportunity for emotional happiness. They could have lied about an Aquarius. They could have lied about healing something with someone who was younger. Maybe there was a child. There was some type of like um, dark, low vibrational energy here, sabotaging addictions to sex, drugs, money, alcohol, gambling, something to that nature. Someone here was gaslighting, manipulating, bullying, aggressive, very aggressive with the devil. Someone here, um, I don't know who, if it was this man or someone could have been dealing with someone like this. Uh, Capricorn energy, Aquarius is here as well. Um... And this is like a crazy ass combination. Like this could be so many shits. Like I could go on and on for days. This is the song that never ends. Cause it goes on and on my friends. All right, Gorilla. This can also be someone who feels defeated, but damn, I don't even want to go into this as deep, but why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? The Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords. So someone walked away. Someone here could have mental health issues as well. 
Like, someone may sabotage... Hmm. This is so much. Like, where we go from here, Spirit? Either somebody walked away and found themselves caught up, or someone, like, walked away because they felt restricted, or somebody here is, like, emotionally detached, in their head, feeling helpless, having anxiety because of some type of toxic behaviors. I don't know if something pertains to someone who's younger. Someone could have been lying. It, like, somebody here, I don't know what in the hell. All right. I don't know what I want to do with this. Because I feel like this is like a whole side story. But I mean, I could make a, like, not me making, but this is like a whole fucking reading right here. And I've got all these other cards to clarify. So, hmm. Somebody may feel like, I don't know, someone regrets something, but the, the Seven of Swords and the Devil and the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords, like, the energy is still relevant. That's what's tripping me out here. What's the Ace of Swords up here, Spirit? You know, the Sun card in the reverse can also talk about the Ace of Swords is the moon. Anyways, the Sun card in the in the reverse can also talk about, you know, miscarriage or uh, if this did have something to do with the child or pregnancy, somebody may have gotten the truth that somebody that it wasn't somebody's child or that could be the truth. That could be the clarity that somebody got. Somebody could have lied about this. So ultimately, I feel like somebody could have sabotaged this situation because they felt like they had like no other choice. Because there was some type of a secret here or something that was hidden, but I feel like they found the truth out. They got the clarity. So somebody did do something like all kind of effed up here, but that made them feel like someone walked away because they felt like they had no choice. The eight of swords, like they felt restricted or backed into a corner because of some type of like, like they sabotaged themselves by doing something shady, by doing something sneaky. I don't know if it was with someone who was younger or, um, like, I feel like somebody did something because they felt like they had no other choice. And now they feel like they missed an opportunity for emotional happiness because of their own fucked up behaviors. Excuse my language, but for real though, let's just be honest. All right, I'm going to move on from that. Show me spiritual love. Nine of Pentacles coming out sideways. The Five of Cups. Nine of Pentacles in the Chariot. Showing itself some Nine of Pentacles sideways. Tell me more about this spiritual love. Four of Pentacles. And the Hair of Wands. There could be a little bit of codependency, codependency here, or some type of. Uh, someone here may regret trying to like hold on to something or possess oh. okay the hair font spiritual love
someone's worried about like some type of a commitment, a contract, a marriage, a Taurus. Okay, someone here, there could be a little bit of financial codependency. Someone may regret looking at other options, not seeing some type of love situation or trying to hold on to something for some type of title or or someone is definitely up in their head about this, stressed out. Why? The Queen of Swords. Someone, there could be an air sign here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or someone here who's being honest. Someone may be speaking their truth. Someone may have gotten the truth. Um, Why is the Nine of Pentacles here and sideways, please? So this is also the Three of Cups. Yeah, okay, and the Four of Wands. So I don't know who this is, Pisces, in your life or whatever. Um, for some of you, this could be friends. This could be family. For others of you, this could be a lover or even an ex or something. This Queen of Swords coming out. You could be this Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. Gender doesn't matter, man or woman. This is just energy. So it's like you could be very confident. You could be well-spoken, speaking your truth, not taking no one's shit. It's like you've learned some type of lessons here with the hair font. You've learned some type of lessons here. And, you know, you're, you're very direct and candid with how you deliver, how you speak, how, you know, your confidence. Okay, you may have, like... This could be like, you may have a lot of burdens. I don't even want to say burdens. Like I want, I want to say like responsibilities. A lot of, you're carrying a lot of shit that's not really yours to carry, but the way that you carry it is very confidently. And that could be this position of authority. It's like a high ranking is what I was getting with this. Um, and keep, keep in mind guys, tarot can always be reversed. So some of you guys could be uh, cross watching for a Pisces and this may resonate with you. So take how it resonates, but I'm reading for Pisces. So I'm going to read it in Pisces perspective, but also keep in mind that tarot can always be reversed. All right. So anyways, it's like someone here sits in a very high position. Um, um, here we go. <laughs> someone here sits in a high position, like a high, high, like some type of an authoritative position here. And I feel like that has someone feeling stressed out, regretful. There could be something that someone's holding back or holding on to or keeping to themselves and that could be what's worrying them. It could be the secret or this whatever this regret is. Mm. Because I feel like someone knows that they either need to come towards you with the truth if they want some type of a reconciliation, a celebration, but this person may also have some type of like financial... Uh, this could even be like maybe even debt with the four of pentacles, nine of pentacles coming out sideways or reversed. Somebody may want to reconcile, celebrate, or you could be sitting in this celebratory energy, single, independent, self-sufficient, good on your own, whatever this may be. And someone may be, you know, I don't know, the four of wands and the three of cups is like a homecoming, it's a celebration, it's stability, it's feeling celebrated, hanging out with friends, having a good time, having a, st a stable structure. But I feel like someone's worried about something because it's like you may hold some type of like upper, I, I don't even know if this is like an upper hand, but whatever. Show me the four of pentacles. What is this person holding back? Or maybe this person regrets holding back from you. I don't know. Um... Swords. Yeah, this person may regret like holding something back or holding on to something out of out of a malicious behavior. Like someone was trying to like bully, intimidate, do something. Someone was trying to like this is like someone ultimately sabotaged a spiritual connection and now it's like they regret something. <laughs> I 
Pisces, whoever this is that you may share a spiritual bond or a spiritual connection with, this person may have done some stuff that was like very low vibrational, very underhanded. They may try to gaslight you or try to bully you, intimidate you. They may even try to hold back from you. And, but it's it's a form of like manipulation. It's a form of like the four of pentacles, five of swords. It's like they're doing something to try to like have the upper hand. But ultimately, all it's doing is sabotage. It's making a situation worse. So if somebody's, so whatever someone's trying to do to get um, possibly a reaction out of you, it's actually ruining the connection, or it has ruined it. Okay, let's move on. Scales, keep your life in balance. Judgment. Yeah, yeah. So you may have nine of cups. Hmm. Keep your life in balance. So with the nine of cups here, this talks about wish fulfillment, uh, being happy, um, focusing on your dreams and your, you know, some of you guys are actually in your calling with judgment here. Some of you guys are just making, you know, better judgment calls with the scales. It's like justice and judgment. It's like something here is karmically bringing in some type of nine of cups wish fulfillment for you. Okay. Like something here is coming back around, but it's in a form of wish fulfillment. Okay. Um, this can also be choosing to forgive a situation. Okay. What else? Scales. Keep your life in balance. Knight of Pentacles. So there is a need to... I just heard rational. Move slow and rash... Is that a thing? Move rationally? I guess it could be. But move slow and rationally? I know what rational means, but like, how does that rational like be real i don't know whatever okay the wheel of fortune so something again karma that's what i was saying something here is turning in your favor with the scales with the judgment and upright this is karma this is something coming back around but it's in the form of learning some type of life lessons it's bringing in some type of wish fulfillment it's bringing in some type of stability that may have been a long time coming um this is being patient practical loyal dedicated okay or bringing in someone who is of that, okay? But this is the wheel turning in your favor. This is some type of good luck, good fortune. This is fated to come in. But there's a need for you to keep your life in balance. Don't like, be like, oh my gosh, wish fulfillment. So I'm going to go, Luna, please stop, honey. Yeah, don't be like, oh, I'm going to go and be careless and foolish and just, you know, don't be careful. Like, Yes, this is possibly a new beginning with this full card showing itself, but also like look where you're going because this fool isn't looking where he's going. So it's like be rational. Don't mind my finger, okay? <laughs> um, be rational about where it is that you are leaping. Watch where you're stepping. It's like the dog is trying to bring awareness to this fool right here, Aries energy. It's like the dog is trying to bring awareness to someone. You also have Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus energy out here. Um, could be dealing with one of those signs, Aries. There's a need to look before you leap. Okay, slow and steady wins the race. Yes, something is coming in. Yes, this is wish fulfillment. Yes, this is, um, you know, the, for some, this could be a reconciliation or forgiveness. E even if this isn't like choosing to like reconcile for love, this is reconciling for healing, right? For movement forward so that you can move forward. So this is like, okay, I forgive you. Now I can move forward or I forgive the whole situation. I forgive myself. I forgive you. Um, it's no more blame game bullshit. All right. This is like keeping your life in balance. Uh, thank you. Come again. No. Or thank you. Don't come again. You know, either way. It's like um, there is a need to be careful. Don't be reckless. Yes, things are turning in your favor, but be practical. Be uh, what was the word I heard? Rational or something. All right. Is that the word I heard? I don't know. I forgot already. Okay, moving on. One more for the scales. 
So it's almost like don't don't get too excited over something coming in as wish fulfillment or oh things are turning in my favor so I can like uh just just be foolish. No, don't do that. And there's a need to be practical or like keep working on Queen of Swords, be practical. Thank you, Spirit. There's a need to be practical and like <laughs> like This is like two separate energies. One is like foolish and reckless and like, I don't want to even say reckless. It's just like free spirited, like woohoo, go with the flow. And the other one's like, wait, hold up. Let me, let me think this through a little bit. Okay. Let me see the truth of the situation before making a decision. And this guy's like, fuck that. Let's go. <laughs> so there's a need to keep, keep that in balance by Z's. <laughs> All right. Show me the finger. Warning you of a problem either now or in the future. Damn, five of wands. Spirit said, shit, be careful with any type of conflict, drama, competing, temper, defensive energy, nine of cups and the page of wands. Showing itself. Hmm. So this could either be you feeling conflicted about a message of good news and that with the nine of cups again showing itself, it could be Luna, stop it. That's not good for your teeth. I'm not even going to look over there because my mama instincts is like, Earl. okay, seven of pentacles, things coming into fruition, manifestations coming into fruition. Yeah, warning you of a problem either now or in the future. So why is the five of wands here, I wonder? This could be other people, outside people. High priestess. Some of you guys could be even receiving some type of spiritual enhancements, okay? Why is the five of wands here? There's people who are secretly competing with you, Pisces. But why? I don't know. With the seven of pentacles and the magician and the high priestess, it's like something that you've been working on in private and secret or whatever. Something that you've been manifesting is coming into fruition. It's like your hard work is paying off. This is some something, some type of a manifestation that you've been waiting on for some time is coming in, but there's people. Why the five of freaking wands? And why are you even problem either now or in the future? I'm gonna warn them of a problem either now or in the future. Fuck them, my pussies. Alright. Show me the five of wands. The nine of pentacles. Hmm. And the King of Pentacles, what in the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is this? Someone here is like a boss, like independent wealth, business owner, high social status. Someone who's very mature, grounded, loyal, committed. This could even be a Taurus, Virgo, Cap Capricorn or someone who is single, a single self like made business boss daddy coming in towards you, Pisces. And there's like drama surrounding this. Like, you manifested this. I don't see this as bad. I feel like there's... Who is the Five of Wands spirit? Whoa, 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 whoa. Could be a Cancer, Aries, or another Pisces. Virgo. Aries, Leo, Sag. Who is this Five of Wands? I just named like five signs, didn't I? Cancer, Aries, Pisces, Virgo, Leo, or Sag. Could be any of those signs causing this drama because you have the five of wands and I just literally had th four majors and then the queen of wands. Could be someone with, could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe they have Virgo, Cancer, Pisces in their chart, okay? I don't know if that's helpful or not, but show me this. But who is this five of wands? The king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. And this three of swords. Page of swords. Someone here is watching this situation, feeling heartbroken. I wonder if this is a spiritual connection. Oh, shit. 
This is that older man who messed up, yo. Because I just seen the Queen of Wands, now I got the King of Wands. That would be a spiritual connection or, you know, a very passionate, fiery, feisty bull. But if you have a King of Pentacles coming in, someone who is single, self-sufficient, a business owner, a boss daddy, there's like someone here who's like wanting to compete or fight or argue or someone's coming in wanting to fight for you. I don't know what in the world is going on here, but that could be the case. It's like there's someone here who maybe with the Page of Swords. Uh, I did have the Page of Swords. I don't know where I put it, but um, someone's watching this situation. Where did I put that Page of Swords? That's weird. I've seen it. Okay. Someone's watching this situation. Like someone's seeing this. So, okay. Some of you could be this this boss, independent, self-made person here, and you could have a um, <laughs> whoa. Someone didn't want me saying that. Um, you may have people competing for you, Pisces. I don't know what this five of wands is. You will be shown the way, Pisces. Why is the candle here? Six of Wands, Two of Pentacles. So success, victory, public recognition, some type of accolades here. Um, two of Pentacles can talk about trying to bring something into balance, weighing your options. Good Lord, the devil. Capricorn energy. Okay. Um, hmm. Why is the devil here? Queen of Pentacles. What? I don't know. What did I ask? The devil, didn't I? Why is it two of Pentacles here? So there may be something, the Knight of Cups. Give me one more. The two of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be in the public eye or in the industry of some sort, because the Six of Wands and the Devil can literally talk about like the industry, like an artist, a musician, um, somebody of fame or status. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles here, this is someone who also has a high social status, um, some type of independent wealth, someone who's living in luxury. So you may be like on some type of journey to something, and it's like you need to like. Weigh your options because I feel like you have love coming in, but what's the catch here, spirit? The Empress. The King of Pentacles. My goodness. Some of you guys are waiting on an apology from someone. Others of you, this is somebody coming in, like I said, somebody who is going to match your energy. King and Queen of Pentacles energy, Empress, King, King of uh, whatever, King of Pentacles out here. This is like, you may have to, like, that could be this Two of Pentacles. Like, keep your life in balance here with this Two a wand. So something here has to do with like a success, public recognition, your business, but you may be meeting somebody who's just like, who matches your energy, who's just as much like, who's, who's like of your stature or somebody who's on your level. And you may be like tempted to, you know, I don't know. This is like, keep your life in balance. What, what you can, you may have to like, figure out a, a way to juggle a situation like between your career and your love life, because you may have somebody who's coming in who's, you know, damn. But some of you guys could be waiting on an apology from whoever this person is. This could be someone who's broke your heart, put you in a third party. This could be this older man who did a bunch of shit over here, who felt like they had no choice possibly, maybe due to a pregnancy scare, because with the sun in the reverse, I feel like it wasn't their child if that was the case, but they thought it was. So then they, they like abandoned a situation. They, um, 
they walked away from something because they felt like they had no choice. And they're still keeping the secret. That's the thing. The Seven of Swords is in the upright. It's like they're still, and that's what they're in their head about. They're still keeping the secret. They regret something because now they see that they could have had emotional fulfillment had they not been a stupid ass. Okay? Man or woman. Maybe this woman found out that, you know, she thought that some dude, how do, how do I turn that around? It's hard when you read energy or when you're like seeing the gender. Okay, so this could be a woman who may have had slept with two men and she thought it was someone else's. So she left the person she was supposed to stay with or whatever that was her wish fulfillment and went off with the other one to keep the secret from coming out and then found out that it wasn't even that man's baby who she left the other guy for. So it must have been the real person's baby. And now she's like, shit, I just lost out on the love of my life, the Ten of Cups, because I was out here being a whole. All right. Okay. But I I feel like somebody may have lost their chance here because someone else is meeting someone who's this could be warning you of a problem either now or in the future, Pisces, because the but like I don't know what you manifested here, but you manifested some type of like boss person in your life, man or woman, doesn't matter. I see it here too. Or Excuse me here. It could be a boss woman. Okay. For the you men out there or a boss daddy for you feminines out there. This is someone who you could even get pregnant with this person. With this empress being here in this king of pentacles, y'all could even be growing a baby. I don't know. I'm just saying not everybody's trying to have a baby, but for those of you that are, you definitely could be. Okay. Nine of cups. This person's coming in to offer love. But you may have to keep your life in balance because you may have like something that you're doing that you're very with the devil and the six of wands. You're very good at you're very successful at this or you have a high success or whatever. Or this person does and it, This may be something that, you know, you're going to have to learn how to juggle, you know. OK, I'm done. I'm done. Just reading. Get carried away in these books right here. OK, let's get. Um, oh, shit. What? This card I just knocked over with my hands. Someone is expecting a baby. I'm trying to tell you. I wonder what card fell on the floor now. December. Oh, someone could be expecting a baby in December. So what does that mean? Um, Somebody could have gotten pregnant in the month of March. Ah! All right. Well, that one flew back there. So it's just going to stay back there. All right. Some of you may have had some birthdays. Oops. Okay. All right. Let's see. Messages for Pisces. Declutter. Declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of the a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. And you got jealousy, jealousy. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend times outdoors in nature to reconnect and replenish and luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. And I've seen that down here with the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Pentacles, and what was it? Judgment, the scales. Something here is turning in your favor. And I feel like this is a manifestation of yours. But it's like you also have something coming back around. I didn't really necessarily see past energy, so I don't know what the hell. But all right, I'm going to leave this reading here. If it resonates, let me know. Smash that thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.